There are two parts here in the world to receive. The first part could be a part could be active. You can advance towards identification with an understanding of the thought of creation, understand what's required of it, carry it out, and also, and then there's another part of the, the collective will to receive. It's impossible for it to do it. Of course, there are intermediary states where he understands a little less, understands a little more, it's more developed or less developed in his sensitivity for the work of the Creator. Uh, the, 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 the role of the uh, upper part, the upper part's role has to be the worst according to its will to receive, the most egoistic opposite the Creator. And then it has a, a chance of feeling how opposite it is and the chance to improve. And the part that is not so responsive to the light and doesn't yearn to be close to it is uh, the part that belongs to the animate degree. And this entire spectrum from the animate degree up to the speaking degree you find all the 17 nations of the world as we say and the nation of Israel is in the highest degree although it's not highly not so respectable to be in the highest degree because it means that they have the biggest egoistic desire they're more cunning scheming more uh, smarter the more corrupt that's why they feel more than all the other nations the gap between them and the upper force and they feel how great that gap is and they get various inclinations tendencies from that together with having it accompany them to you know, various successes in the human species money honor knowledge and so on and so forth. So, however you look at it, it turns out that those people that, out of the entire reality, if we're taking them as the, the cream of the crop, or through a sifter, when we take them, and they are the most egoistic, the worst, there's a greater recognition of evil in them, there's... Um, there's such a great evil inclination that uh, it doesn't let them rest for other people ultimately are they get organized into a group that becomes closer to the creator in their work and uh, their desire to exit the, the, um, disparity of form and they want to come closer to similarity of form and that's why they become a pipeline for the influence of the creator on the whole world well, everything we read about in the writings of Baal Sulam, the articles of Matan Torah, Arvut and so on and so forth so we have here something and it's opposite as usual I, I see it we see it also in our world we have to take care of it and now is the time for us to start sorting out these things in practice we need to organize them we need to see we need to see this system in a complete uh, healthy way and how we are advancing the entire system which is why it's, uh, it's said that we are in the end of correction or the generation of the Messiah where the light that passes through to us and through us to the editions of the world is already a light that draws the entire world to receive and 
That's why we have to understand our destiny, our place, our meaning, all those who was certain who to, to, wants to get to the Creator come to me, meaning those with the desire to reveal the Creator. So this is our time now. It's so our lesson now is Bnei Baruch, meaning that group that awakens, and it awakens to become a spiritual conduit for the world. Meaning we have many groups that don't study the wisdom of Kabbalah, they, we are talking about our group, whose destiny is to be a spiritual conduit for all the people in the world, because by that we wish to come closer to the general correction and use it to give contentment to the Creator, delight the Creator, okay?